Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video on Mr. Junior Dev. I hope you are all well. Uh, today, we're going to be doing iterators, the dot map method on the Learn JavaScript course through Code Academy. So, I'm just going to walk you through it quickly. The second iterator we're going to cover is dot map. When dot map is called on an array, it takes an argument of a callback function and returns a new array. Take a look at the example of calling dot map. So const numbers equals one, two, three, four, and five. That's the array. Const big numbers equals numbers.map number. And then function return number multiplied by 10. Okay. So dot map works in a similar manner to dot for each. The major difference is that dot map returns a new array. In the example above, numbers is an array of numbers. Big numbers will store the return value of calling.map on numbers. Numbers.map will iterate through each element in the numbers array and pass the element into the callback function. Return number multiplied by 10 is the code we wish to execute upon each element in the array. This will save each value from the numbers array multiplied by 10 to a new array. If we take a look at numbers and big numbers, console.log numbers will output 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But if you console.log big numbers, it's going to output 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 because obviously it was multiplied by 10. So notice that the elements in numbers were not altered and big numbers is a new array. So instructions, number one, add your code under the animals array and before the line, console.log secret message.join. Use .map to create a new array that contains the first character of each string in the animal animals array. Save the new array to a constant variable named secret message. Okay, so just below the console.log secret message. Sorry, just before the console.log message. Uh, use dot map to create a new array that contains the first character of each string in the animals array. Save the new array to a constant variable named secret message. So we're going to start off with a constant variable named uh, secret message. I'm going to set it equal to. Okay, so use dot map to divide all the numbers in big numbers by 100. Save the return values to the variable declared with columns called small numbers. Big numbers. Okay, so the return values to a variable declared con small numbers. Const small numbers. And what we're gonna have, we're gonna pick numbers. Map. We're gonna pick. 
And actually just take a moment. So to divide all the numbers in big numbers by 100, what we're going to need to do, we're going to say num.length. Just said once small numbers equal big numbers dot length. In the same. Num dot length divided by mm -hmm. dot mm, length of the math object big numbers map num num divided by 100 okay guys I don't know if you can hear me clearly now let me just bring this down okay but I'll see you guys in the next lesson thanks for watching peace